go. Greetings guys, it's Tokraft. Hey, how about that for an intro, guys? I hope you liked it, but we are here doing the 253 subscriber Q&A, so I have to say, let's get started. The first question is from Johan, and he asks me if I can introduce myself. But I actually got a second question that looks a lot like this. But that doesn't really matter, I will just answer them both in one answer. So, my real name is Thomas, and I am 17 years old. My birthday will be at the 17th of August this year, and then I will turn 18, of course. I attend pre-university education on high school, and I am doing my fifth year at the moment, so next year I will have my finals. The profile that I study is NT, which stands for Nature and Technique. I live in the Netherlands, so Dutch is my native language. My interest in school are pretty much all the subjects. There's no subject that I like less or don't like at all, but I like all the science subjects more in particular. I'm a science guy, guys. And you will see science subjects return to my channel, especially in the EWS project that I will be doing. Hobbies that I have are of course gaming, I also really like playing guitar, making YouTube videos is probably my biggest one, and I also like to play football, and for the Americans out there, soccer. Football freestyle in particular. Games I like are of course World of Tanks, that's my number one favorite. I sometimes play Minecraft as well, but there's one kind of game I just don't enjoy and those are first person shooters. I love every game with a science-y background to it, or I like games where you need to use your brain a lot and games that are really tactical, those are the key games that I like. Music I like uh, is pretty much all the electronic music. Music I listen often is deep house music. Artists you need to think about are Oliver Heldens, Mr. Belt and Weasel, those kind of artists. There's also one dubstep artist that I really enjoy and his name is Fox Stevenson. If you don't know him, go look up his music, his music is absolutely awesome. I also really like the no copyright sound, house music. That's why you see me use a lot of no copyright soundtracks in the background of my videos. Not only because they are copyright free, but also because the music is just absolutely awesome. So I hope that answers your question, Mr. Mustache and Johan. Let's go to the next question. The next question is from Jochen Broekhuis and he asks me what my favorite food is. To be honest, I don't have one favorite food that I like in particular, but I really do like the Italian kitchen, if you know what I mean. I'm a really big pasta fan and also a lasagna fan. Me, myself, I don't really like those fast food foods. When I've eaten fast food, I probably don't want to have any fast food anymore for a month. A short, but hopefully clear answer. Thanks for the question, Jochem, and now we're going to go to the next one. The next question is from Brothers in Arms Watts, and he asks me why I am so handsome. Well, that's just because I am. <laughs> just kidding, guys. Let's go to the next one. The next question is from Renegator Russian, and he has an awesome question, a YouTube-related one. He wants to know how I make my thumbnails. So to answer that question, let's go right into the program that I use. So guys, here we can see the program that I use to make my YouTube thumbnails. It is GIMP. It's a pretty easy program. Is it the best one you can use to make your YouTube thumbnails? No, not at all. But when I started YouTube, this program got advised uh, by friends and by other YouTubers. And it is pretty easy to learn. So we are going to replicate my latest thumbnail that I made on YouTube. So the first thing that I do is uh, open up the, the, yeah, the right aspect ratio for the thumbnail and that will of course be 1080p. Then I'm going to have to find the screenshot that I use on the background. Let me quickly find it for you. There we go. So here is the, the screenshot of the, the background that I use in the thumbnail. Just going to drag it in as you can see. So here it is. Next thing I do is put in my also well-known T icons let me see where I put them I've got a special file for these I always store them at specific places 
Okay, I think I used this car this time, didn't I? No, I used this one. Yes, so I'm just going to drag it in. And as you can see, I um, yeah, I made my T icons in such a way that they perfectly fall into place into my 1080p thumbnails. So the next thing that I would do is to put in some text. So the text that I'm going to put in is subscriber replace episode 5. Oh, there we go. And I thought the name of the episode was going to be Mother Russia is calling. So there we go. Next up I'm going to adjust it a little bit. Make it look a little bit nicer. Let's make it a bit bigger. Don't want that. So as we can see there's a little bit of room here. So I'm just going to size up this text a little bit. Just so it looks like this. So what I do next is I want to put a white, uh, how is it called, a white layer around it and white outline. So how do I do this? I go to alpha selection. Yeah, sorry guys, it's in Dutch. I would rather have it in English, but when I downloaded it, it, uh, it got downloaded Dutch automatically, but it doesn't really matter. I size up the selection by 6 pixels and then I will select the white as we can see right here and I'm just going to fill in this selection with white but as you can see sometimes there uh, yeah in the middle of some letters it doesn't fill in but it doesn't really matter I'm just going to do that right now out of experience I know with what with which letters that happens and with which of these uh, things as you can see in the G and the A another A so I think that's it so what I do next is I want to put a um, <coughs> a transparent layer behind it, excuse me, to make the text pop out a little bit more. So how do I do this? I select two colors, as we can see. For instance, I might uh, do other things as well, but for this time I want to uh, put on these colors. I select the white background, so when I put in these colors it will automatically uh, put it onto this white background. So I use the slide tool, I don't know how it's called, I'm just going to call it the slide tool. and I drag down the colors. You don't see them right now but as you can see around here the colors have ended up on this white layer. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Now I'm going to select the white and I'm going to make sure that when I delete the white it is going to be transparent and as you can see there is my picture back. So now this is just a little bit too much as you can see so I'm going to fade down the colors a little bit until we get something like this. And then it's just a matter of moving the text a little bit, a little bit more towards the middle, so it looks better. So next up you can see I put down 8 kills here, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna open another text window, and I'm going to type 8 kills, and I forgot space here. So there we go, I'm going to make it red to make it big and then I'm going to size up the text oh that was a little bit no that's that's pretty good so like this then I also want a uh, black outline around this again going to how is it called alpha selection so that the selection goes around the letters and going to size it up with four pixels and then I'm just going to select black and put the black around it just like that just going to end the selection and then I'm going to turn this a little bit, just like I did in the real thumbnail on YouTube. There we go. It is pretty much done now. And the last thing that I did, let me first find it for you. I have saved those on my desktop. World of Tanks. Uh, yeah, uh, medals as we can see. I think I put in the Top Gun icon as we can see. So I want to size this uh, icon up. So I click it. I click the slot here so I make sure that it sizes up evenly because as we can see if I don't click the slot I can just do it like this and if I then scale it up it's just going to look very weird as we can see so just going to slot this and make it bigger and it didn't work why did it work oh my fucking god there we go slot up and let's make it bigger scale there we go I think I put it down here 
But that's pretty much it, as you can see, that's how I make my YouTube thumbnails. And basically making a YouTube thumbnail starts with a good idea. So if you've got a creative idea, it's just a matter of uh, yeah, making sure that you put it out into one of your programs that you use. For beginning YouTubers, I recommend GIMP as well, because it's just really easy to learn. Uh, you can also use Photoshop, but there's just going to... Uh, you're just going to have to put more time into it because it's harder to learn. So guys, I have to say, let's go towards the next question. And I hope your question has been answered, Renegade or Russian. So guys, I've saved the hardest question for me as the last one. This one is from Bob Verweis and he wants to know what my favorite tanks are from tier 1 to tier 10. On the subscriber special announcement video, he had asked me a, a related question. And that question is just what my favorite tanks overall are. Most of the tanks that I will choose are of course tanks that I own in my garage. So, let's just start with tier 1. Although I do never play tier 1 and 2 mostly, I think my favorite tier 1 is going to be the Leichtraktor or the T1 Cunningham. For tier 2, pff, I don't really know because the T18 has been removed, yeah well, didn't like to play that OP tank that much. But you know I'm going to skip out on to the tier 2. For tier 3 it's got to be the Panzer 1C. In tier 4 it's got to be the Matilda. That great armor and the great gun just make for a perfect combination. It's just absolutely OP as fuck. But really the Matilda doesn't need that much explaining. My favorite in tier 5 at the moment is got to be the Skoda T24. I might have to put a replay of that tank up onto this channel. Because I just really enjoy that tank. It is pretty mobile, it has a pretty good gun. Overall, just like a very good medium tank. Also I really like the EOC AMX. But as that is a light tank and gets matched up as a tier 6 medium tank. I think I'm still gonna go for the Skoda T24. I think my favorite tank at tier 6 is going to be the Cromwell B. The Cromwell itself is overall really solid tier 6 medium tank. But of course the Cromwell B is just as good, it might be just a little bit better and it makes credits and extra experience. So there's pretty much no real reason to not like the Cromwell B. So next up is tier 7. Overall I really like tier 7, but I don't really have one specific tank that I always go back on when I've got packed games for instance. There's one tank that's just completely ridiculous in tier 7 and that is the T29 of course. So I think I'm gonna go with that. The turret armor is just so strong that it can even bounce the highest tier tanks it can meet. The gun has got great alpha damage and a good penetration. And if you go hull down that thing is just an absolute beast. So tier 8 is probably my most played tier in the game at the moment. I've got a lot of tier 8 premium tanks as well as a lot of normal tier 8 tanks. But a lot of them are still stock and or I haven't played still. I think I'm gonna choose the fe 4 2 p Not because it's the best tank, but because I think it's the most beautiful tank bottle in World of Tanks. Although the tank itself might not be that good, I just really enjoy playing it. It might be one of the worst uh, tier 8 premium tanks that you can buy at the moment. But still, it's got that really reliable 20 pounder that Wargaming have buffed, of course. The mobility is horrible, but if you go hull down, the fe 2 and 5 b is just a really enjoyable tank to play. And even if your games aren't going that well, you can still look at the most beautiful model, at least in my opinion, in World of Tanks. So at tier 9, I've only got 4 tier 9 tanks. Well, I've had 4 tier 9 tanks. The Conqueror, the E75, the T54 and the Centurion 71. So which of the 4 is my favorite? So as my T54 isn't uh, fully upgraded yet, I can't really choose that thing. I've also not played the Conqueror in ages, so I don't really know that much about that tank anymore. So the choices left are the E75 and the Centurion 71. And although I really like my medium tanks, the Centurion 71 just had a little thing that I didn't like, and that was the, 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 the thing where your shots just didn't go where you aimed them at all, although the accuracy stats were really good. So I think I'm gonna go with the E75, you know, it's just the most ridiculous tier 9 heavy tank in the game. The T10 is also really good, but in the E75, if you play well, you just don't have to be afraid of tier 8 tanks at all. Or at least most of them. So after tier 10, I've got the choice between the FE215B, the E100 and uh, the Centurion Action 10. And I think I'm gonna go with the Action 10. Why? Because I just overall like medium tanks a lot. Especially because it's my first tier 10 medium tank and it has the 105mm gun, so you even do... 390 alpha damage in a tier 10 medium tank which is just fantastic for me 
I've had the FE215B and the E100 for quite a while now, so a tier 10 medium tank is uh, something new for me and I really enjoy it I have to say. So as you can hear most of my favorite tanks are medium tanks. And my favorite tank destroyer overall in the game has got to be the Yak Panzer IV. That's the tank destroyer in which I've got the be my best stats of all tank destroyers. That 200 alpha damage combined with the very quick reload time is just such a nice a thing. I really, really, really enjoy playing that tank. And what's my favorite tank in the game? I am not sure about this, but I think my favorite overall tank has got to be the WZ-131 at the moment. I didn't use it as my favorite tier 7 just back then, because it of course is also a light tank and gets matched up as a tier 8 medium one. But the most ridiculous battles that I've ever had in World of Tanks have all happened in the WZ-131. I once got 6k damage and I once got 5000 damage, both games you can find on my YouTube channel. And for the tanks that I didn't choose, that doesn't mean that I don't like them at all, of course. The tanks that I've talked about just now are the tanks that I just enjoy the most playing. So, Bob Verweijs and Johan, I hope both of your questions have been answered here. So that means, guys, this was the last question that I got. And I have to thank you guys so much for sending in your questions. Also, I have to thank you for the beautiful comments that you sent with them. I just got a very big smile on my face when I was reading through all those questions and comments. So again, I can't thank you enough. I also would like to thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed watching this Q&A. In the near future I will of course also make more Q&A videos. But for now, we're done. There is a lot of effort and time put into this video so please consider leaving a like and think about subscribing if you haven't already. Guys, I've only got 4-5 to five weeks of really busy school weeks to go, but after that the summer holidays are starting, in which I will do the awesome EWS YouTube project, so stay tuned. I will see you guys in the next video, bye.